I'm just trying to glue a little motor into a mounting frame there. While it's doing that, I'm going to do something totally different. I want to try and make a helicopter that's powered by a balloon. Now this is a bottle top off of one of those drinks and push it in to seal it and pull it up to open it. I'm going to try and mount uh, what should we have? three or four drinking straws coming out of the top of it and to seal the top I'm going to cut a piece of this polystyrene and those four drinking straws will have wings attached to them or blades and the idea is the air will blow up through here come out through the drinking straws which will have the ends pointed backwards or at right angles so it should spin the helicopter I'm sure I've seen a toy like this but I've been looking in the shops for months and I can't find them so I'm have to try and make my own got four drinking straws these are the ones that have got the bendable bit in them just have to decide what I'm going to use for the blades need something fairly lightweight I think I might have some sticky back paper. I'll put a little bit of hot glue on each straw to hold it in place. And then I'll hot glue that over the top. And then we'll add the propeller blades or rotor blades. I've cut holes around the edges for the straws to go through. That's the general idea. I now need to attach the... So, so I think I'll use sticky back paper to make rotor blades. plan. Well that's the idea. Better go and find a balloon and see if it works. Down in the conservatory to give the helicopter a test. gives you an idea of how fast it needs to spin to lift. Faster than I can manage just flicking it. Now I have tried it already with several balloons and it's a total failure. This is just too heavy. But I was quite surprised. I used a big balloon and it didn't work at all. I used this small balloon and it still failed but it looked like it might have worked. The biggest problem is getting the inflated balloon onto there.
what's actually spinning. Just in case it's not loud enough over there. I say failed, but it was actually spinning. With the bigger balloon, it instantly turned upside down. But with this balloon, it seems to be balanced better. But there's still not enough pressure coming out of there to spin it fast enough. I could try and restrict the size of the holes. That usually makes it a little bit better. So I might just try that. To restrict the size of the air outlets, you take small pieces of straw. And I know this is probably totally out of focus. Slip them up the side so you can crush them smaller and then push them inside. We'll see if it made any difference. And the answer is no. So I think we can put this one down as a fail. I think it needs to be much lighter and possibly shorter so you get a faster rotation. But I think I'll give this a rest for now. Maybe have another go another day.